friends. I'm in a rush this morning. Yeah. Kaylee, here's your homework. Mm -hmm. Print it off on lined paper because I'm out of computer paper. Dad will bring some Is home. This the one right yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. my real one. Oh. You ever, here, hold this. Oh. <laughs> here's my, I'm gonna wear my real wedding ring. It doesn't fit very well. But she brought the wrong one down. So well, I'm going to be good. Are you just going to go to, out to play with Chelsea? Is there anyone out that can play? Well, yeah, I saw. Are you going to? Okay, I got to go. But like, <laughs> make sure you're back in time because it's different than Ashley's. Is she going out with you? Say hi. hi. You don't know if Ashley's going out with you? I Would you like to check? I asked her. She never said anything. Okay, she comes back at a different time than you now. So I know. Okay. I, I know, not extra your time, <laughs> but I'm in a hurry. She doesn't get extra time. Their lunch breaks don't start at the same time anymore. And that's really frustrating for Ashley because she feels like she's getting less of a break because she doesn't go out until Chelsea goes out. So technically she is getting less time outside, but she, anyway, all the older kids don't get out until Chelsea does. Open. Ah. Uh. So why am I, so, oh, bright sun. Why am I in such a hurry? Where am I going? Oh, you can't even see me. Where am I going so quickly? I am freezing cold, number one. Come on, start. Um, but I quickly made an appointment to get my toes done. They're so dry. This is a little TMI. If you're grossed out by feet. They're so bad and dry. So when I take my socks off, there's like a, a puff of dry skin. And I put lotion on my feet two to three times a day. And now I'm to the point where I'm wearing socks at night because they're so dry and it doesn't help. I told Jason, this is like a medical appointment to unfix my feet. This is like necessary to go and do. And so, cause I can't stand the sound of dry feet on, on sheets, like his feet make me want to hurl at night. That's just, you know, his, he doesn't care that he has dry feet. And they just slide and catch on the sheets. I don't know. Oh, I can't stand the sound of it um, with my own feet. So I'm gonna go get my feet done. And there's Kaylee's friends out playing football. Kaylee is making edible cookie dough. I'm like, every cookie dough is edible. Like anyone, oops, anyone who says you can't eat cookie dough, it's got raw eggs in it. <laughs> We've been eating cookie dough since the beginning of time, people. Like my dad eats raw eggs in his eggnog. Like it's okay to eat the cookie dough, but she's making a recipe and is making herself some cookie dough, which I thought was kind of good. And anyway, it's a beautiful day, but it's really cold. It's 53, but we're gonna, get my feet done. Oh, I was gonna say that um, I'm gonna try and drink extra water today because my vaccine tomorrow, um, they say that you're like less likely to get side effects the more you drink and hydrate the day before. So my friends have like, they're all getting like their second dose this week and they're gonna try it with me. And so <laughs> we're hoping Fingers crossed that we don't have any symptoms. I have one, another friend that got her second shot three days ago, two days ago, and she doesn't live here. She's out of state, but a friend from high school, but she said, she's like, oh, I woke up in the morning after my second dose and I thought I was fine and I have a lot to do. And then it just smacked her in the face. She's like, oh, nope, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> she's like full fever, chills. Okay, I don't want that. I can't do that. So we're gonna drink a lot of water today. First, let's go get our toast done.
That's so good. <laughs> you know your feet are bad when they have to like dump off the little cheese grater like 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were bad. All right, it's been a couple hours. Edited a video. I think I've been putting off procrastinating, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it, getting the birthday stuff ready to go for the kids. I'm not really sure why. I've got all the stuff. I've got it all organized into like kid piles. But getting it wrapped up is like a different story because I'm, I've hidden it so far and I think I've done a good job at hiding it. The girls have birthdays all month long, <laughs> if you're new. But I've got my bucket of wrapping supplies here. Can't grab it and hold on to you guys at the same time. But like I'm, I'm hesitating, because once it's wrapped, it's obvious. And my oldest, whose birthday is the second one to have a birthday, hates surprises. Hates seeing the presents wrapped up and won't stop bothering me about it the second they're wrapped up. So usually I don't let her see that until the second she's gonna unwrap the present. I don't know if I'm ready, to, but I have got to do another birthday before her. And so, and that's Ashley's. So, and we have like the whole vaccine scenario tomorrow and side effects the day after, and the birthday is the day after that. That's the, the layout that we've got going on. So, <laughs> I just don't know when to like, I'm gonna start. I've gotta start now, because some of them are gonna get wrapped, and then I think I'll save the ones that just are gonna get put into gift bags. Um, and just do that the day of or the night before. They just don't go to sleep. That's my other problem these days. It's like I have to stay up to like one in the morning to like put birthday stuff out because they just don't go to bed. So I'm gonna threaten them with their birthday stuff if they don't go to bed, but it's like multiple times for April. <laughs> Here's my wrapping supplies that I already have. Yes, we're going with a mild Hawaiian theme, but it's not quite, it's more a rainbow. So, but these are the gift bags that I have and I love, so we're kind of using this, but I'm. it's all a rainbow. So you'll see, when I get the balloons, you'll see what I mean. All right, I'm in my closet. Abby and I have been in here wrapping. So we've got some wrapped and some set aside and some into gift bags, but I can't like fluff it, like, because I don't want it to get ruined. Um, but there's another one that's wrapped up, but we have more hidden back here. It's all back there. So, this is kind of what you have to do when you're a mom and kids are constantly like trying to sneak peek. So, I've been in here and wrapping. Abby's been helping me. And we're doing rainbow theme. We love Hawaii and rainbow is like a theme of Maui. So we kind of added that to the mix, but we don't have any green or purple wrapping paper, but we have pink, yellow, blue, and then the green tissue paper and the orange, orange tissue paper. So we're gonna go to the dollar store really quick and see if they have any wrapping paper or tissue paper that I can add to a bag or something to get the full spectrum of a color. And we might stop off at one more store with a little secret presents that almost every one of them is gonna get. But I've been holding out till the very end to get them. So you'll have to wait and find out what that is because it's gonna be a dead giveaway for what store it is. We'll definitely give away what it is. Like there's no way around it. So you'll find out soon. Okay, so we here put it in the back, Abby, so I can show. Um, we scored on wrapping paper. Oh, that's not our car. <laughs> that's not our car. She was about to get in the wrong car. So we did good. Um, we got orange, purple. They didn't have green, so we did more of a like a teal. teal. Oh, careful. Oh dear. Oh, that's not gonna go well. Why didn't she wrap these? So we got these little jars. I've already been collecting and getting a few more. I'm gonna wrap it in the tissue paper. I also got tissue paper. Where are the car keys? Here, I'll open it. It's fine. But I don't want these jars. Here, take that. Okay, so did well with the wrapping paper. Got some more tissue because I've run out of white tissue paper. 
And now we're rushing to one more store before it closes. So, okay. That last store that we wanted to go to is closed. It's gonna be difficult to get there. We're gonna try again. What day is today? Tuesday? Yeah, we're gonna try again tomorrow. If I'm not feeling sick, I'm gonna try Thursday. But, remember when I told you that the girls are watching a movie? So, trying to be quiet. Chelsea's trying to watch a movie. Um, remember when I told you that I sometimes have ingredients and sometimes I have intentions? <laughs> I have both today. You wanna see what, <laughs> see what I've concocted? All right, so I've got green onions, two different kinds of cheese, and some chicken, and I'm gonna add some cream cheese and maybe some sour cream, and I'm gonna make some taquitos. I've done it before with, um, what is it? Oh, spinach. I think I've told you that before. I'm not sure how much, I'm just, I'm not even measuring this, so there's no tutorial. This is just all by ear. I've seen a tutorial on this on Instagram, I think. So we're just gonna mix it together. I've actually put like a peach mango salsa in this before. I might, oh, I threw mine away. That's a really good thing to add to your taquitos. So I'm gonna kinda mix this together and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with them. All right, so I've added some bacon bits and a little bit of sa sour cream, just cause my, anyway, I need to kinda get a little bit more of a liquid in it. And then some of the ranch dressing packet, just the dairy powder, I didn't use the whole thing. So I've got that all mixed up here and then you spread it out onto a tortilla shell, roll it up, and we're gonna bake it. I've sprayed the bottom of the pan with a little bit of cooking spray so it doesn't stick and it kinda gets golden on the bottom. And then you spray the top of the tortilla as well. We're gonna bake that for 15 minutes or so. And then maybe I'll throw in some rice. But the reality is, are you gonna eat this? No. No. <laughs> so she's having hot dogs. No. And the other little squirt, I'm Good timing. She's going to have a cheese sandwich. Oh, you're having pizza. Yeah. Mini pizza. So seal that up and put that away, please. So we're going to make these up and I'll let you know how they taste. Can't go wrong with cream cheese, though. But I wish you guys would eat. Oh, you've been watching TV too much in your iPad and your little cave. She's barely yeah, she's barely awake animals. there. He's buried in her spoiled yep. But when I tell them that if they don't eat what we eat, they have to make their own dinner. So, here's her cheese sandwich. Here's a plate for her. Wait, do I? Her a... Yeah, you have to make it. So here's your plate, girly girl. Unwrap your cheese, butter your bread. They're probably gonna have chips. And, no, butter your bread. That gets stuck to it, I hate that <laughs> bread holder. The butter holder, I mean. Okay, there you go. All right, next up I've got some rice going and I cook it with uh, chicken broth when I do recipes like this. Um, it just makes it taste good and I've got them in there with Chelsea's pizza. All right, dinner is served. I just did a little bit of an orange there. I've got the rice and the taquitos look good. They don't have any salsa, although it, although it would taste really good with like a mango pineapple or something mm -hmm. definitely cheesy salsa would be good then you need to do a little bit of a, a different flavor different texture with it but i'm gonna have some rice um with it but can't do that and hold you guys so we'll see what jason thinks of it too yeah <laughs> just just taste the taquito tell me what you think <laughs> stop mm. Good? Well, good. It's got good taste. Yeah, but you agree with the salsa scenario? It needs something else. Another flavor and another texture. Salsa would have like that extra little something. Yeah, I don't know. The cream, whatever, ranch is just sort of creamy. Mm -hmm. But a little salsa would add a... Texture a, and a different flavor. A little chill to the warmth and stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be good. Yeah, definitely. These are good, huh? Thanks. Yep. Glad I can be your housewife. Thanks for being useful. <laughs> Here's my, my phrase of the day, you're a douche. <laughs> I'm just kidding, love. Thank you. You're sometimes useful. <laughs> so right back at you. I have the ingredients, I'm just not. Like, what did you say? <laughs> what did you just do, babe? You're the culprit. You I say it. You say 
Maria is Chelsea when she puts the dishes away. No. No, I'm anal when it comes to my dishes. I'm not even gonna deny that. What? I but these are strainers. There. I didn't put that. There. You did just put it there. Put you just tried to put that bowl away <laughs> in the strainer spot. Oh. oh. No, I'm not. You're, like you're it's like not a, that. A it's a, I am, but the pro <laughs> squeeze tight. But the problem is you deny that you do that when you unload the dishwasher. That's my problem. No, no. I it, it, you? Problem. No, this is him. No, no this is him. Occasionally I put things in our spot, but when I see stuff. But, uh, but, yes, <laughs> he doesn't have it. any defense because this didn't is. do it. You I, do do that. Oh, wait, okay. It was natural. You oh. went, I saw you do it. I just sat here and I watched and then I caught you red handed and I didn't have the camera turned on. He doesn't have anything to say when he's guilty. I see. Yeah. Okay. Good, good night. Goodbye. 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 Okay. So actually, we're to a point where we're bribing you to get your homework done. Correct? No. no not bribing you to get your homework done. I am. That's where I'm at. You do. For every math problem you do, I'm gonna give you some eggs. But you can't have them till tomorrow because you need to brush your teeth. She can brush her teeth after she has some right now. We're still early enough. But she's gonna do math, and then Lexia, and then read to self, and then a writing assignment. I have my own thoughts on that. Do you want to do a video about all the work that you do for you school? You work hard. You work really hard. Do you want to show how, like, you have learned how to use all the little programs and stuff, and how you do your math? Should we do a whole video about your computer work? Homeschool. How to home? Like, not. I mean, I think it's a new thing this year to like have eight eight year olds and seven year olds. Know how to use a computer as well as you do. I think she could do a tutorial on Zoom calls. I, d I know, I like know breakout rooms and like, chats, to, um, sending emails. Without even looking at it, she can tell you: click here, click there, do this, open that, do that. Yeah, yeah she's really good. We'll do a like. Maybe we'll ask everyone in the comments if they want to see a video to see what seven-year-olds know how to do with their computers. Yes. All right. Yeah. For now, she's going to do her math. You want to say good night to everyone? Good night. <laughs> I think we're going to be here for a little bit, so we'll say good night. <laughs> that grin. This is our problem. Yeah, that grin. That grin is kind of the good and the bane of our existence around here because everyone is a sucker for that grin. Say good night. Good night. <laughs>